One of my kids talked about being home alone and it was a bam on the door. And then he peeped out the window, saw that it was ice. He ran and hid in the closet because he didn't know what to do. He came to a class very sad, very lethargic, somberish. And, and I, I went up to, I told him that if he could stay after class with me. And, and I, um, he, I said, Mijo, what's going on? He goes, I had to wake up at three in the morning, Ms. Benavides. And I go, why? She had come to my room and in tears. So I, I had known the student, we'll call her. Eileen um, was actually the one of the only students to reach out to me, um, needing some help. This young man lived with his father. And, and his father and his mother, they live, I think, probably five blocks from each other or something like that. But the kid always came to school buttoned up. I started noticing that his clothes were hanging out. And I'm looking at his, his the essays that we were writing in class and halfway finished. I waited about a week or so and things didn't get much better, you know? So then I just, I said, listen, you need, you need to talk to me. Tell me what's going on here. One student of mine, she was a fifth grader in my class. So I gave all of them my contact info when they graduated that if they ever need help in anything, they can reach out to me. There was a conversation happening in one of her other classes about the views of Donald Trump in terms of immigration. She was extremely vulnerable in that situation where she couldn't didn't feel like she could speak up. All of a sudden it wasn't didn't feel safe to her. Why? Why did you wake up at three in the morning? He goes, because ICE came and knocked at the door and took my dad. I couldn't sleep after that. As immigrants, we do face discrimination or racism, but that should empower us to be better and to show the people that immigrants are not all those generalizations that they say we are. My parents are both undocumented. They believe that education is the way to get ahead in life because with education comes power. And so I just would go over and tutor her, got to know her family better through that. And they've been to my home and they've opened to me a little bit more what they go through as a family. Technically, my responsibility as an educator through my credentials is to teach and give them the curriculum that they are required to pass state tests and to be successful in higher education. However, if I cannot have a stable child, if I cannot have a child with love, internal love. How can I teach them? On the way to the store, I saw a car that was suspicious. It was ICE, and my dad asked what he had done wrong for them to stop him. They told him to be quiet and to get off the car because he has an urgent petition. They handcuffed him and they left. We all saw that heartbreaking recording that she did, yet she insisted on coming to school. When I saw Fatima coming to school in tears, and growing up as a brown person during apartheid, I just relived so many of those apartheid evils. And I knew then that we needed to mobilize. And I was with them that evening as we went down to stop the deportation, to stop the van from leaving the ICE offices. And fortunately, we got a stay about a half an hour before he was supposed to have left. We as teachers, we have these children in our classroom, and if we see something that is unjust, we have to speak up. It's children who we're talking about, children who have come here on no fault of their own, who are being punished. It's kids that are striving to make the world a better place, to make their lives better, uh, just like anybody else. My parents just wanted a better future for us. They sacrificed the commodities they had in Mexico, and I mean, that sacrifice is what push me, inspires me. If my parents did that for me, then I have to repay them by getting a better education because that's what my parents brought us here for. They need a lot of connection with not only their home environment, but the, the community and as well as the institution because they've been pu pushed out of the system. We're all humans. We're all in the same party. We're, we're the human race. And just like our country is founded on the belief that all human beings are equal and have inalienable rights. 
that does not exclude these young people who just want an opportunity for life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. You better walk the walk if you're a teacher. If you say this is important, then you better act like it's important. So I teach because I want to change the world and try to make a difference. And these kids laugh at me at first, and then they go out and do it. There has been a huge inequality from the start. And there's been nothing to level the playing field. And I think education is where that can happen, where that liberation can come from.